in three, two, one, this is identification and serial number location. Starting in three, two, one. Okay, real quick, I have a standard way that we are identifying our units and making sure that we write down the serial numbers and put those into a database for each one of our mannequins. So here on Nursing Kelly, on his left hip, there's an injection pad. Uh, obviously this can be used for intramuscular injection simulation. Peels out fairly easily. And on the inside here, there will be a tag. Hopefully you can see it there. And that will have what's called a lot slash SNR, or serial number. It'll start with a 300, which is the same as the product number, and then go on to have letters and numbers beyond it. It'll be important, it will be important that you document that and send it back to me. Now I will tell you what to designate each one of your units. Um, we already have units on site. What we're doing is we're upgrading so that you have SIM pads because some of you have units that are either uh, too old to continue servicing or uh, you just don't have any at all. This one here is Nursing Kelly. And what I've done is I've used a standard label maker that I found on every single one of our campuses and made a label that says Nursing Kelly 2 MKO. And I'm going to zoom in on that for you. So you can see it there. And I've placed that inside the abdominal cavity. Uh, I also have placed uh, these identifying stickers onto the backs of some of our mannequins, but I have found that those have a tendency to get rubbed off over time. This, this one here, I haven't seen one come off yet. That's a nice protected spot for it to be. And again, it just keeps us track of our inventory and where our assets are. So this has been identifying your serial number and then giving a unique identifier to your nursing Kelly mannequin.